Hey everyone, this is Michael Sigenthaler with this next tutorial of skits. I used a projector to project the drawing onto a piece of paper uh, from the original computer drawing. Right now I'm using a sock eraser to dull down all those dark lines. I'm a huge fan of the sock eraser. You're able to get across the entire page all at once without having to go in with a little eraser and just getting little bits here and there and whatnot. And it just kind of dolls it all out. It doesn't erase the whole thing. It's really hard to actually erase an entire drawing just using a sock eraser. So you can get right into it and get it done really quick. Something that I really like about doing the computer drawing sketches before going to actual paper is it allows you to actually get all of your detail and your alignment, composition, all of that stuff done ahead of time. Once you get all that stuff done and you get it over to the paper, you can just sit there and, and draw. You don't have to worry about the composition, you don't have to worry about whether or not an arm is the correct length or a leg is, is right, because you should have already done all that in your initial sketch. This way, once you sit down and actually start drawing, all you got to do is draw. You don't have to think about nothing. You don't have to do nothing. You just sit there and draw. So this is our man skits. As you may have noticed by now, he's wearing a straight jacket. And that, in small part, is why his name is Skits, which is short for schizophrenic, but it also means short stories, or just stories in general, Skits. So what we're doing is we're telling the story of Skits. So right here we're using a ruler to put in the hard straight lines of the ropes on the swing. Never actually use the ruler markings in your final drawing. It looks stiff, it doesn't look natural, the rest of your drawing is done completely by hand. So what you always need to do is, wherever you use a ruler, to go back and actually hand draw it in. Just use the ruler marks as a guide to help you. Something you can play around with on your own is using different types of pencils to get uh, the look that you're that you're wanting in your drawings. Myself, when I'm doing my sketching, my rough sketching, I tend to use a lead holder uh, to do all that sort of stuff. That way you don't have to worry about sharpening your pencil or anything like that. But when I actually start going in and doing all my detail drawing, I tend to want to use a real pencil. For some reason, to me, it just feels like it gives me the line and the quality that, that I want. And I actually like when it runs down. I know a lot of people like to keep their pencils super, super sharp. But when, it, when it's a little dull and starting to get kind of low, you, you kind of use it a different way. And it, um, it, it just gives you a quality that you can't get necessarily, or I personally can't get from, from a lead holder. Um, again, that's just my opinion. Uh, everybody needs to find out exactly what what works best for them. But for me personally, it, it, I, I really like just the plain pencil. It, it, it really gives a, a nice look, a nice feel uh, to your drawing. And I'm, I'm using just a uh, an HB pencil here. Whenever possible, you should try and get reference for whatever you're actually drawing. Uh, most of my drawings are done from my head. However, for things that I actually do have reference for, I, I, I tend to think that the drawings end up looking better because you can actually study it and look at it and find out exactly how it moves, the textures, the feeling. You can't remember all of that type of stuff inside your head. The uh, the materials that the straight jacket's made out of is a really, really heavy canvas. And it has a particular texture to it, and when, when it folds, the textures kind of have this odd feel to it that if you just were to look at like a shirt or a long sleeve jacket or something like that, it just wouldn't give the same feel. So whenever possible, try and get 
an actual reference for whatever materials or whatever objects that you're actually drawing, it, it tends to make your drawings a lot better. A good exercise for young artists to do, or just new artists, you don't have to be young, you can be old, but young at heart, is to find a few different materials, uh, collect them all up and put them under the same light. Like find like a cup, a t-shirt, uh, uh, some metal, you know, just stuff made out of different materials. Collect them all up, put them under the same light and just look at it, study it, see exactly how the light is reacting to those different materials. In the long run, it can help you out a lot. This is something that I used to do in art school, and or not art school, in high school as a kid. Uh, I had a really good art teacher in high school. She she made us do all sorts of strange things, and I'll probably talk about that later on in some of the drawings once we get to it. But really look at the materials, sit down, see how the light works and bounces off of the materials, and uh, see how that would actually help your drawings just by by uh, drawing the materials under the same light. Thanks for watching. The next part of this tutorial is coming up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell and check out our other videos.